today for lunch I'm having this mountain house pad thai with chicken. It's 490 calories if you eat the whole bag. Uh, to prepare it you add a third and a cup of boiling water, stir it, let it sit five minutes with the zipper closed, and then stir it again and wait another four minutes. We'll give it a shot, see if it's worth its weight. Looks like we've got some boiling water here. Ow. We'll put this in our thing here. Lots of veggies and stuff in there. That's a good sign. We'll give it a stir. started. Look at that. Not bad. And we'll wait, uh, close it up, wait five minutes, stir again, wait another four. That's what we'll do. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this is any good. Well, the consistency is uh, good. It's about right. I was worried that it would be too watery. And, I don't know, so when you, when you think about these things, you can't think about backpacking pad thai as it relates to the real thing. You kind of have to judge it based on other backpacking food like this. And, so far... I have a very favorable impression. Um, the flavor is good. There's a little bit of spice to it. There's lots of different kinds of veggies in here, like carrot and green pepper, onion, red bell pepper. There's a little chicken. Um, the one thing that I find is consistently lacking on these backpacking meals is salt. And I know they're trying to be all like, I'm Mr health conscious and all this shit well number one you're full of shit because you see those mountains behind me why don't you try walking up backpacking up 10 miles into there and sweating eight liters and seeing if you have too much salt in your system so you know if you're like a couch rambo and shit like there's plenty of salt in here but if you're actually out doing like real stuff there's not enough salt Mmm. Mmm. Now you add a little bit of salt. It's fantastic. <clears throat> I also hike with some sriracha. We'll give that a shot. Mmm. And that's downright edible. So kind of the baseline, one of these backpacking meals that I compare to is the one that I thought was the cat's ass when I was a kid and that's the mountain house beef stroganoff. This is way better um, with the mountain than the mountain house beef stroganoff. Um, especially if you add a little salt and a little sriracha. But if you don't have those it's still pretty darn good. Um, I don't know. This is, honestly, it's probably a little bit better than some of the bad restaurant pad thai I've had, so I'm going to have to give this a big fat recommend. Uh, if you know of any other, um, like, pad thai meals, I'd be interested in those. Thanks for watching.